I hope you're not afraid of the dark. Because we're going to be building a dark Pokemon in this video. Just be careful of who's there. Hey guys, I'm back with another Nanoblock video, and sorry for the scam, it just kind of, we just wanted to set the mood for uh, this video, because we are building Umbreon, the Shade Pokemon from uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now, this Pokemon evolves with a high happiness in the middle of the night, so you will probably get to, to evolve a, uh, a uh, Umbreon uh, one, in one of your Pokemon games. So, first of all, apologies for that uh, video intro. Just wanted to have a little bit of fun. And, of course, uh, I'm, I'm about to get started because there will be a lot of black in this and a few yellows. But uh, don't forget, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you can get uh, videos like this build, not the intro, in the future. Go. All right. So how many bags have we got? This time? ah three, just like the uh, Espeon video from two weeks ago. And don't worry, guys. There will still be some uh, Lego uh, museum builds uh, to come in the future. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button uh, to get notified on those if you're interested in those. So I'm now going to get started on sorting all these pieces uh, out into uh, whatever groups I need. And the best part is this video has the pieces that you're going to need all, all at the top. So, ooh, and it's uh, quite, ooh, it looks like it's quite a build as well. So I'm going to get started on uh, gathering what, I'm, what I'll need. And uh, show you guys in a minute. I've now assembled all the pieces that I'm going to need for the Umbreon build. So let's start off with uh, the top right part of the tray right here. I've got two white 1x2s here, two red 1x2s and 1x1s, and I've also got a grey 1x2 here. Do be careful when you are sorting out the colours, because uh, some the grey it is a little tricky and it can blend in with the black. The best advice I can give uh, for this, when you're sorting out your bricks, do it under a bright light, uh, like a, an LED light or uh, something like um, a torch or something. That way you can uh, tell what uh, which piece is which and you'll know the difference immediately. For the yellows, this is the easy ones, I've got five 1x3s. Three one by ones and three one by twos here. I've also got five two by threes here and three two by twos all in the yellows. Then this is going to be the tricky one. This is all the black pieces uh, and well, the majority of Umbreon is black. So starting off with the T's, I have nine of these. I've got twenty one by twos. I've also got. Some 1x1s here, I've got 13 of these, I've got 6 1x4s, 19 1x3s, then for the 2x2s I have 7 of these, 21 2x3s, and 7 2x4s. So that is everything that I'm going to need for the Umbreon build. I'm going to get started on step one of the build, where we're going to start to get to work on Umbreon's bodies. Now, if you're familiar with how I do these evolution builds, you'll know what I'm going to do. You can you can keep watching this video. If you're if you uh, if you're not so familiar with this, I highly recommend that you uh, uh, see how I do these uh, the, these builds. Okay, so step one of the build is now completed, and it is a little different from how I normally do my EV build, uh, evolution builds here on the channel. So I started off with the uh, black 2x4 and a black 1x4 right here, where my uh, little uh, stylus pen is pointing to. Then I applied the black 2x3 here for the back of Umbreon. Then I grabbed two yellow 2x2s here and here so that they form uh, part of the rings uh, around the legs. Then I grabbed a 1x1 one one yellow here and here, and 
on the sides of the uh, 2x4 or and the 1x4. Then in the front here with a uh, uh, one peg gap between each one is a black 1x2 here and again here. So part one of the build, uh, sorry, step one of the build, it is uh, over and it was a little tricky, but I'm glad that it's completed. I can now move on to step two of the build where we're going to uh, build up more of the body. And I do apologize for the uh, amount of black. It will be a little bit difficult, but I do hope that you bear with me as I do these builds. Okay, so step two of the build is now over and done with, and it is a little different uh, from the previous step, but uh, I will try my best to explain what I have done on each brick. So at the front, I've started off with a yellow 2x3 here, and then a yellow 2x2. These are perfect foundation bricks for uh, when uh, for building this uh, model. Now, it was it is important that you do the 2x3 here, instead of here, because that way it makes the model a little more stable as you uh, go along with the build. Otherwise, it'll just shake, and it might come loose as you uh, carry on with the build. So do pay attention to these uh, parts of the instructions. Then I applied a black 1x3 right here, uh, in between the, uh, well, with the uh, one peg over the 2x2 two two yellow here, and two pegs over the 2x3. You gotta do it in a uh, vertical uh, 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 position uh, to make sure that uh, the body is nice and stable. Then this brick here, 1.2, is a 2x3 black. And there's also another 2x3 black right here at the back. Then I have applied a 2x4 black right here to uh, make it a little more stable for the body. Then I have applied two 1x2 blacks right here and right here. So that uh, it, we are starting to form more of uh, the, the black part of uh, Umbreon's body. So step 2 is over and done with. And it looks like we're going to be uh, working on more of the black pieces of Umbreon. So I'm going to get to work on step 3 of the build. Step 3 of the build is now completed, and as you can see, we've done the uh, black 1x3 and 2x3 piece here at the front, which is the perfect foundation brick for this step. Then I grabbed, uh, what I did after that was grab some 1x2 blacks, one here and one here, so that uh, they uh, form the, uh, cover the top of the rings around Umbreon's body. Then I grabbed two black 1x4s, one here and one here. And I had to make sure that they were in a horizontal uh, position uh, so that they're ready for the uh, in, uh, inside of the body. Then I grabbed black 1x1s and applied one here and another one here to help uh, create the uh, curve feature of the hind legs. Then I grabbed two black 2x2s and applied one here and again one here so that the hind legs are uh, fully supported. Then here at the back it is a 1x3, and you have to make sure that it is a 1x3 so that it is connected uh, to the back right here. And then a 1x2, uh, right here to finish off the curve on Umbreon's body. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to move on to step 4 of the build. Step 4 is uh, over and done with, and this one was a nice and easy step to do. It didn't really take me uh, that long to do. I started off with a 1x4 black here, which is uh, the foundation brick for this uh, step. And I also had to make sure that it is one peg away from the inside of the body, so that it uh, starts to form the curve for Umbreon's head. Just uh, remember that uh, when you're doing this step. Then I also, onto its uh, left-hand side, right here, is a black... 2x4, or to uh, help uh, uh, support the curve. Then here at the back, behind those two, is a is a landscape uh, shaped 2x3 right here. No, it is a little difficult, guys. I'm sorry about this, but uh, it's a lot of black to go through. Then I have done a two by another 2x3 right here, so that it uh, forms the curve on Umbreon's uh, back body. Then a 2x2 two two right here. And then to support all of that is a 1x3 to uh, finish off the curve effect of the body. Where, and uh, it also uh, helps out to, to create uh, the support foundation for the tail pieces, which is going to be uh, part uh, step 5 and step 6. So I'm going to start off with step 5. And all you need for this step 
is 1 1 by 4 and 2 black 1 by 3s. So all I gotta do is apply the 1 by 3s, 1 here, then the 1 by 4 here, and then finally the 1 by 3. And that's it, so we're now starting on the foundation for Umbreon's tail. And now we can move on to step 6 of the build, where we need a black T and a 1 by 3. So I'm going to start off with the black T and place it right here. And then apply the 1 by 3 like so. And I'll make sure that they're nice and aligned. Perfect. And that's it for step 6, and 5 and 6, sorry. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to go on to step 7 of the build, where we're going to be creating Umbreon's tail. So, step 7 of the build is a 5 part process. So, first of all, step uh, part 1 of step 7, I've grabbed a black 2x3 right here. And then I grabbed a yellow 1x3, so I had to make sure that it was uh, kind of like a square, a 9 by 9 uh, 3x3 square, where the black is at the bottom, and the uh, yellow was at the top. Then right here, on top of those, pardon the pun, uh, I grabbed a yellow 2x3, and applied it uh, horizontally, and then another yellow 1x3 right here at the top, so that uh, it covers the previous parts easily. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to, uh, in fact it would be easier if I just showed you uh, the rest of this step. So I'm going to go and grab a black 2x3 and a 1x3, but I also need another 1x3 where it is supporting, uh, actually it would be better if I just um, applied it like this. There we go. And then underneath those uh, pieces that I just put on, the black, a black 1x3 right here. So that it gives off uh, that nice uh, curvy effect on the tail. Then I've got to grab a little 1x1 one one and apply it right here. And then a black 2x3 on top. So that is part 4 of the step, and for part 5, you just need a little 1 by 2 right here, and that's that. And then you can apply this onto here. There we go, and that is the tail for Umbreon Dawn. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to get started on step 8, where it looks like we're going to be building the head, so I'm going to go and uh, put this to the side and get to work on Umbreon's head in part one of step eight. Do you like what you see on the screen? The link to the video will be down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But for now, we're going back to the build. Okay, so part one of this step, it is uh, kind of like the same that we did uh, two weeks ago on the uh, Espeon build. Um, so it was a 2x3 and a 1x3 here, and again 2x3 and 1x3. Uh, it's all black, mind you. Then you grabbed two T's, uh, where the uh, odd pegs were facing the inside. Uh, this one was facing west, this one was facing east. And then their gaps were filled out by uh, the 1x2's, uh, the 1x3's and the 2x3's, respectively. So, now, I'm gonna, uh, I'll do part 2 of this step uh, on camera to show you guys what you have to do. Cause, it will be a bit confusing with all the black heck pieces around. So, first of all, a black 1x3 right here. Then you need four 2x3's. And you dot them around like so. There we go. Nearly done. We just need to apply one by three from the previous step. And that's it. 
just gotta make you just have to make sure that there's a gap right in the uh, middle of the uh, this uh, part of the uh, step. And with that over and done with, I'm now gonna get to work on part three of step eight. Where we're gonna build up the eyes and the nose of Umbreon. Quick little heads up before we uh, do the uh, explanation on uh, step uh, part three of step eight. Uh, I forgot to apply a black 1x3 here at the back of the head, so uh, my bad guys, don't forget that uh, step, otherwise it's just going to look like uh, a little awkward um, when you uh, have a finished model. But um, here we go, S uh, part 3 of step 8. Let's start off with the obvious piece, the grey 1x2 right here for Umbreon's nose. That's in the very middle, that is the perfect foundation brick for uh, this step. Then I applied a black 1x1s one on both sides on the, in this section right here. And then behind each one of those is two ooh red 1x2s, one, one here and one here to form the eyes of Umbreon. Then to, on the back of each one of those 1x2s uh, is uh, two black T's, one here and one here. Then I grabbed a 1x1 one one black here and here to uh, uh, kind of like a, a reverse t uh, to build up a T. And then I grabbed a black 2x3 right here, here to, on the back for Umbreon's head. And if you want to know what it should look like the, uh, in the middle, it should be a invisible T or, or a T gap right, in, uh, right there. So with that uh, part of the step over and done with, I'm now going to move on to part 4, where we're going to build up more of the eyes and the head of Umbreon. Okay, so part four of the step is now completed. It was uh, a little easy. Uh, first of all, I started off with a black 2x3 right here, and I put it over where the uh, left-hand side is over the uh, grey 1x2 from the previous step. Then to the left of it is a black 1x3 right here. Then on both sides in the middle of those uh, pieces is a red 1x1 where they're over the red 1x2s. So the uh, pupils of... Um, Umbreon's eyes are now completed. Behind each one of those um, red 1x1s one one is a black 2x2 two two right here and again here. Then I applied a black 1x2 here and here to uh, form more of the curve on Umbreon's head. Then here at the back is a 1x3. So that is the curve of Umbreon's head over and done with. I'm now going to get to work on step 5 where we're going to uh, create more of uh, Umbreon's head. Where we're going to uh, finish the eyes and work on the middle of, uh, well, in between right here for the yellow. Okay, so part 5 of the head, uh, the uh, step 8 is now completed. And I began with the uh, yellow 1x2 as the foundation brick for doing this step. Uh, part of the step, sorry. Then I applied the white 1x2s here in a uh, vertical uh, position so that they finish off creating Umbreon's eyes. Next up, I grabbed two black 1x2s, uh, 1x1s, sorry, here and here so that uh, it covers uh, the, eye, uh, the uh, eyes um, from, of the white 1x1s. Then I grabbed a black 1x4 and put it right on top of the yellow 1x2 from earlier. So that it's uh, kind of in a uh, horizontal position. Then on both sides, in a mirror to fashion build, I grabbed a black 2x4 here and here, then a 1x3 here and here, so that the top, so that we can uh, carry on with the top of Umbreon's head. And now, with that over and done with, I'm now going to move on to the sixth part of step eight, where we're going to build the crown of Umbreon's head. Step six of, well, part six of the step, uh, eighth step is now completed. Uh, what I did was I grabbed a black one by one right here and put it on top of the uh, front of the yellow one by two from the previous step so that it covers, uh, so that it's been covered. Then I grabbed a yellow one by uh, two by three right here so that, uh, and put it on in the middle, um, sorry, right behind the one by one, but it's positioned right in the middle of the, uh, uh, right uh, as you can see right here in the picture then behind it is a black 2x3 again right exactly right behind it so that it starts to form the crown of Umbreon's head then to fill out the curve of the head I grabbed two black 1x2s here and one here 
So that is part six of step eight done. I'm now gonna do part seven of step eight right here on the video for you. So first of all, I grab a yellow one by one right here, put it in the middle. Oh, that's the black. Here's a yellow one by one right here. And all I have to do, like that, then grab the black two by three. I love doing this, uh, these uh, little build uh, steps uh, on the camera. There we go, and the black one by one. That's it for the uh, top of uh, Umrion's head. So with that over and done with, I'm now going to do uh, parts uh, part 8 and 9 at the same time, but I'm going to show you what you need to start off each one. It's really easy. You just need a 2x3 for each of the ears, because that's what we're going to be focusing on next. So now I'm going to get to work on building uh, the, both of them at the same time, and I'm going to do part uh, the uh, the uh, second step of part 8 now. Okay, so the second step of each uh, of the ears are now done. Uh, basically, I just had to grab a black 1x2 right here and put it at the front. But on uh, for the left ear, this one has to be on the right side. And for the right ear, this one has to be on the left side. Then in the very middle behind each one in a vertical form is a black 2x4 for each ear. One here and one here. So... Just uh, make sure that there's at least one peg showing from the previous uh, part of that step. One here and one here. So that gives off that nice uh, curvy look of, uh, well, sharp, sharp um, look uh, for Umvion's ears. So with that over and done with, I'm going to need some more yellows because uh, the next section of this part requires more rings. Okay, so the next part of that step is... Uh, now completed, I had to grab a yellow 2x3, and I, another yellow 1x3, and I had to make it look like it was uh, kind of like a, a square, a 3x3 three three square. And of course, behind each one to support the uh, uh, sturdiness of uh, those bricks is a yellow 1x3 underneath each one. And as you can see by the visual, Re uh, representation. This is what they're supposed to look like. The two by three is supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the uh, outside uh, of the ears, not the inside. So that's a little more uh, structural, uh, uh, structurally stable for the uh, builds. So next up, for each one of those, I just need black tees. There we go. That's it. Nice and done. And then on top of each one of those is a black 1x3. Should be done by the end of each of those. Like so. And with that, I can just apply these immediately onto Umbreon. Umbreon's head, there we go. And with the head now done, I can immediately apply it. Like so. So the body, the tails, and the head are now done. We just need to do the feet. Which will be step 9. Okay, so before I do the final assembly on Umbreon, I'm just going to show you guys what you have to do. So first of all, you grab two black 2x2s two two and put them on the, front of the, uh, on the front of Umbreon's legs. Then here at the back, you grab two 1x2 two black L's. One for here and one for over there. And then behind each one of those black 1x2s is a yellow 1x2 right here, and again here. And with those uh, done, we just need to grab the 1x2s in black. For one here, at the f uh, two for the front. 
this is the first. If I could just get it in. There we go. Then the other one right here. Bingo. Then I grab a 1x2 black and a 1x1 black, like so. You have to apply the 1x1 one one on top of the 1x2. And the same again on this one. There. And then you grab, then you place each one on the inner part of the yellow 1x2s. believe you do. Yep, you do. And that is it. Umbreon. The dark side of Eevee, ready to unleash the dark powers it has evolved with. Did you like my little unboxing video? If you did, why not check out my other content right here? I have a nice little video for a nanoblock set from a video game series, or I have a playlist right here for all of my past builds. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can help the channel grow, and ring the bell for, to get notified on my latest videos. Happy gaming guys, and I'll see you at the next unboxing build.